Sarah. And I'm Paige. And here are some more announcements for you. The Home and School Association will be holding its first meeting on Tuesday, October 14th at 7 p.m. It will be held in the library or auditorium, depending on construction prep. For this meeting, we will be hold hosting a Q&A with BHS administration. Mr. Ferreira and Mrs. Hope will both be present to answer your questions or address any concerns. You can also plan to ask questions during the meeting once we open the floor. We encourage all of you to attend. The PSATs will be administered at BHS on October 18, 2014. We will begin accepting registration forms and handing out study guides on September 22nd in Office 1. The Ben Sound Band is excited about our next big event, the Ford Test Drive event. All you need to do is drive a car, pick your favorite, and fill out a very short survey. This event will be held on Sunday, October 19th. Mark your calendars. Ms. Gallagher will be working with Christina Wise to form a straight talk about cancer group at the high school. They will meet monthly starting in October. The group will be open to students whose lives are being affected by cancer. Mr. Kirshner is taking a trip to Broadway. Everyone in the high school community is invited, is invited, students and parents. If you have any interest, please have your student stop at room 209 immediately to pick up permission slips. It will take place on Saturday, December 13, 2014. The show is Mamma Mia and it's $120 per person. This includes a charter bus from Ben Salem to New York, obviously, <laughs> ticket to the Broadway show and dinner at Ellen's Stardust Cafe. Sophomores, class sweat orders are due by October 17th. Hoodies, sweatpants, yoga pants, oh, that's new, and baseball shirts are available. <laughs> I wonder if they say 2017 on them. <laughs> we also have class of 2017 lanyards for $5. See Miss Sibley in room 243 or Mrs. Sally in room 256 to hand in your orders for, for any questions. Cheerleaders are selling Wow Wow Hoagies for $5. They are good for any shorty hoagie. See Mrs. Sibley in room 243 or email to Sibley at bensalemsd.org or BHS Cheer Fundraisers at hotmail.com. B-Town Rumble shirts are going fast. Sizes large and extra large are still available. $10 for short sleeve and $15 for long sleeve. Questions, please contact BHS Cheer Fundraisers at hotmail.com. Junior class sweats are on sale now through October 17th. You can pick up your order forms in Office 4 or from any of your class advisors, Mrs. Bowler, Mrs. Nahara, or Mr. Trotta. Don't forget, there will be no school tomorrow. Seniors, all senior portraits must be completed by October 30th. This is your picture in our yearbook. So call 1-800-OUR-YEAR or visit www.ouryear.com to schedule your appointment now. Time is running out. Anyone who is going to wrestle this season has to sign up with Coach Hansberry in room 250. Sign-ups must be completed by October 15th. Now let's take you out to Lindsay and Sam over at Beyond Ben Salem. Hi, I'm Lindsay. And I'm not Sam, and this is Beyond Ben Salem. Gone Girl, the dark drama about a disappearance that reveals a dysfunctional marriage, won Fall's first big box office battle over the weekend, holding off a stranger than expected challenge from the horror prequel Annabelle. I actually saw the movie. Was it scary? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I prefer the conjure. I like the conjure better. Um, but there's a photo of the 27 year old actress, Blake Lively, who appears to have a baby bump, suggesting that Lively and husband, Ryan Reynolds, are expecting their first child. Oh my gosh, that'll be the cutest baby. I know, baby. <laughs> I was thinking that. That's all from Beyond Ben Salem. Now back to your anchors. The quote of the day is, there's only one journey, and that is going inside yourself. That's very inspiring. I agree, Paige. Now, that's it for today, Ben Salem. I'm Paige. And I'm Sarah. And always remember to stay strong. Ben Salem strong. Well, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. During this part of our show, we'll be doing some social experiments. Let's take you out to Colin and Luke. What's up, Ben Salem? I'm Luke. And I'm Colin. And we're here to run the halls of BHS to see if students can finish that line. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I'm going to say it's part of a song you get to finish it, okay? No? No. <laughs> if you're having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but... Uh... Because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like you want to raise the roof. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. But hey, here's my number. Call me, baby. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. Put your hands up. We're halfway there, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, we're halfway there, oh, living on a prayer, I give you all of me, loves all of you, keep it going, 
You're my husband in my beginning. Yeah. Even when I lose, I'm winning. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Five to nine, and everybody shot. Um. <laughs> Turn down for what? Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. I guess you'd say, What can make me feel this way? My girl, my girl, I'm talking about my girl. Woo, I got some charm. In West Philadelphia. Born and raised on the playground is where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, maxing and relaxing all cool and shooting some b-ball outside of the school. Cool and a couple of guys, they were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. Got one little fight, my mom got scared. They move with your auntie and Uncle Beller. <laughs> the license plates had fresh and there were dice in the mirror. <laughs> Awesome job, Colin Luke. That was great. Now it's time for a quote of the day. The quote is, the only true fear is fear itself. That's all for today, Ben Sound. Before we leave, we have a special musical guest. Everybody, please give a round of applause for Kid Travis. That you didn't hear Groovy gang killers Yeah, I'm the engineer Hottest ones out, man This, I swear Keep it popping with the haters Keep it a B Shout out to my fam And I love my team Real talk And the only ones who getting any closer To my circle Are the ones who been there Since they won, I mean Some of your fraud And looking like laundry Got your girl doing the cards And I print a Bel Air And only my crew Are in the department Talk is to get a reaction But in the flesh Got them frozen in action Making that profit, double it, but on the low, I be pushing them taxes. But that, this guy is a nut. You know, just like a man come and say, Rastafari. And people say, what the hell? The gym may look empty now, but on August 26th, the Army Field Band came right here to Ben Salem High School to perform some of the greatest hits of our time. And what school has a rock band that comes on the second day of school? I don't know. You tell me. But anyway, stay tuned and take a look at some of the amazing songs that they perform.
came to Ben Salem High School to perform for the students and teachers. So what do you think we ought to have like a little dance contest?
I'm Colin Taylor. I'm the president of the class of 2015, and I'm also the president of Drama Club, and I'm very involved in OTN. Hi, I'm Paige Wendling, and I'm an SGA president in NHS. I play varsity soccer, and I'm in Building Bridges. Hello, my name is Cesar. I am treasurer of my class. I'm involved with SGA, OTN, Drama Club, and Building Bridges. Um, what's up, guys? I'm Taylor Hamilton. I'm an OTN. I'm the current president of KBG, and I'm also a part of a few other clubs here at VHS. Hi, I'm Austin Light. I'm the Vice President of the Class of 2015. I'm involved in OTN, NHS, SGA, Building Bridges, Drama Club, and Choir. Hi, I'm Asa Fanasiev. I'm the Secretary of National Honor Society, and I'm involved in Community Service Club, Varsity Club, Varsity Tennis, and a couple others. Uh, hi, I'm Avery Nikon, and I've been to play soccer and basketball. Hi, I'm Kayla. I'm a member of KBJ. Hi, my name is Neil Patel, and I play basketball for Ben Salem High School. I also am involved in building bridges. Hi, my name is Bree Rock. I'm the captain of the girls' varsity team. I'm involved in varsity club and building bridges. Uh, hi, I'm Noel Wild. I'm involved in swimming. Hi, I'm Hannah Ram Sharon, and I play tennis. I'm involved in SGA, OTN, and building bridges. <laughs> After high school, I plan on going to the restaurant school in Philadelphia and pursuing a career as a chef. I plan to attend a four-year college, hopefully at University of Central Florida or Penn State. After high school, I plan on going on tour with Sesame Street Live. After high school, I plan on going to either the University of Maryland or Syracuse to major in media communications and broadcast journalism. I plan on attending Penn State, Maine and majoring in engineering and minoring in business. My dream college to attend would be the University of Pennsylvania, and I plan to major in pre-medicine. Uh, after high school, I plan on attending Temple University and majoring in business. After high school, I would love to major in psychology. I plan on going to Penn State University, Maine, and I plan on majoring in business. I plan on attending a four-year college and becoming a nurse practitioner. I plan on attending Penn State Maine campus to be either a social studies teacher or involved in business in somewhat. I want to go to a college, probably Westchester, and major in early education. My favorite high school memory was meeting my best friend, Kali Gonzalez. My favorite high school memory would have to be me making the varsity soccer team as a freshman. One of my favorite high school memories is dancing uh, at our Blue Gray Spirit Night. My favorite memory um, probably has to be getting beat by Council Rock North against um, Alex Kuzba pretty much by herself taking our team out. My freshman year in field hockey, that was pretty memorable. My favorite high school memory was when the blue team won blue-gray in sophomore year. My favorite memory of high school would be playing field hockey and tennis and all the friends I made. Uh, my favorite high school memory is going to the playoffs last year for soccer. My favorite high school memory is blue-gray. My favorite memory from the high school was definitely Kevin Grow, which is a very inspirational man. My favorite memory is making second team all league sophomore and junior year for soccer. My favorite high school memory while attending Ben Sam would probably be uh, last year's Blue Gray. My favorite memory would be dancing on Blue Gray for all four years. Oh, won't you stay with me? My advice for freshmen would be to get involved, uh, make as many friends as possible, get in with a lot of cool teachers and make sure you do all your work. And upcoming freshmen, make sure to wear deodorant. My advice for freshmen is always be on time, do your homework, and just pay attention in class, and you'll get through high school. My advice for incoming freshmen is that your friends are temporary. As scary as it is, your circle will get smaller as you get older, but make sure along the way that you find friends that are true to you and just not true to what you have. One advice I have for freshmen is get involved and always keep on top of your work. My advice for incoming freshmen would be to work hard in school and also have fun. Uh, freshman advice is take the first three years seriously and then have fun your senior year. My advice to freshmen is to always participate and do your homework. Freshman advice is, is get involved and get as much friends as you can possible and just be nice to everyone. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Do your work and get involved. All advice for incoming freshmen is just Probably come on time, it's probably better for everybody and yourself, and get involved in anything you can. My advice for incoming freshmen would be to get involved and to enjoy your four years of high school because they go by so quick. A 
September 9th, the girls volleyball team took on the Shannon Depot. Please stay tuned to see some coverage from this game. You like a love song in my mind. Play it all little baby one more time. Touch me like music. Got you on replay every night and day. Feel your body and every word you say. The Shamini serves the ball to Angie Ramos. She bumps to the setter, Jess Wiley, who sets Danielle Frederick, who hits a down ball. Brianna Miller serves the ball. The Chamonix hits a down ball back over to Brianna, who sets the ball into the net, losing the point. The Chamonix pushes the ball over to Brianna. She passes to Danielle, who then gets a hit. The Chamonix pushes the ball over the net, winning the point and winning the first set. The Chamonix serves to Danielle, who passes to Angie. Angie bumps back to Danielle, free balling back over. The Chamonix free balls to Angie, who bumps to Jess. Jess then bumps back to Angie, who hits over the net. It was always meant for you and me. All night, keep it spinning. With a serve to Danielle, she passes to Jess. She bumps to Brianna, giving the Chamonix a free ball. You like a love song in my mind. Play it all through, give me one more time. The Chamonix serves to Angie, who passes to Jess. Jess sets middle hitter Sarah Zoff, who gets a kill. Sarah Steinbach serves to the Chamonix Libera. She passes to the setter who sets over the net. Alexis Goldsby starts the third set with a hard serve. The Chamonix gives Ben Salem a free ball. Angie passes to Alexis who sets to Angie Penagua who gets a kill. The Chamonix pushes the ball to Angie Panagua. Alexis bumps to Danielle who gets a hit. The Chamonix blocks the ball and ends the game with a win. Do you think you could personally do to help your team improve throughout the season? Yeah, I could uh, talk more, give more energy, be a little more enthusiastic. So how do you think you did today on the court? Uh, personally, I think I didn't do that great. I could have done better and the team, we could have improved on a lot of different things. September 9th, the Bensalem Owls field hockey team took on the Pensbury Falcons. The game was action-packed and a hard-fought battle. The girls put in a tremendous amount of effort despite their loss. But, there's always next time. Madison Cubic gets the ball and drives up center field to Autumn McBride. Alyssa Darrymple deflects the ball from number 8 on Pensbury, then 2 deflects her pass to Mia from Ben Salem. Madison Kubik jabs the ball from number 19 on Pensbury and moves around her to pass the ball to Brianna Buechner, who passes it back to Madison for the breakaway. Madison Kubik drives the ball up the field and two opposing players fight for the ball. Pensberg Girl takes the ball and attempt to score a goal. After a penalty made by Pensbury, a Ben Salem player slaps the ball and passes through to Pensbury.
Hensberry tries to get the ball in the net. Again, another attempt to score by Pensbury. Pensbury was defending their own and received the ball to take it up the field. And so player Autumn races after the ball, but it's too late. Pensbury Girl takes the ball away from Megan Feely. Brianna Buechner comes to save the ball and passes it to Alyssa Darenfold. Kara Bachman cuts through Pensbury defense, making her way down the field. I hear that you're suffering from an injury. How does that affect the team? I mean, it's affecting the team in a way because I am the starting varsity goalie for our team here at Bentown High School. And it's pretty hard right now, but we're still trying to put in players to play for me as of right now and just try and make the season go better. Okay, so how do you feel about your last game against Benbury? I mean, although we may have lost, I still feel like there's plenty of games to come and we can still win them and beat them back at their home field. And we're just going to see how that goes, and hopefully the season will turn out great from there. We just got to work hard and put as much effort in as we can. All right, thank you for your time. I'm Kate. And I'm Stevie. Make sure you go and support the field hockey team. A great thing to do on Friday nights is go to your football games. You, however, it's not just about the football players. There's cheerleaders there as well. They're always on the sidelines cheering on the football team as well as encouraging the fans to keep cheering them on. Now let's take you out to this feature. At all of Ben Salem's football games, make sure to look out for the cheerleaders on the sidelines, giving the boys the motivation to play hard. Seniors, Michelle Anderson, Amanda Sibley, Jordan Robinson, Malcolm McCann, and Lisa Roller on the field this year for their last season. Throughout the year, our cheerleaders go to different competitions. This December, you can catch them cheering hard at the district's competition. You can also see them along the sidelines of the gym during the basketball season. Everyone, 
Hello, I'm Ethan. And I'm Ryan. And on September 12th, Ben Salem boys took on Archbishop Ryan in a football game. There's a lot to say about this game, but Ben Salem played very well. Even though the scoreboard doesn't say it, everyone tried. The coach is looking forward to a positive season. Hopefully they can get a lot from the teammates that they have. And now here's the highlights. Last Friday, our boys football team took on Archbishop Ryan. It was a great match, regardless of the scoreline. With the help of Matt Hafner and Devontae Porter, the Owls came out strong in the rushing game. The Bags continue to run hard, finishing the game with 100 plus yards. Good job, boys. Here you can see junior quarterback Penny O'Connell making defenders miss as he scrambles to get an Owls first down. So how do you stay so positive? Um, you just think what you can do better the next play. Um, knowing that I'm gonna go hard the next play, really. Just knowing that if they, somebody else make a mistake and I can go hard. And you gotta trust your players too. Cause we got like a lot of playmakers and they're always ready to make a play and go hard. So speaking of your players, how do you keep them motivated when you guys are down? Uh, I let them know. I let them know like you gotta play for the man behind you. Cause if you don't play hard, then he's gonna pay. You miss a block, he's gonna pay for it, he's gonna get blocked. So I just let him know that the man next to you going hard, you gotta go hard with him. And as a senior, how does it feel for your last home opener? Uh, all, my, all my best friends play football, so I like to play with them. And it's real fun. I cherish every practice, cause I get to see my best friends and do what I love with them, so. And was there any specific plays that you favored today? I like my blocking on ISOs. I felt that was really good. Linebackers didn't come hard enough. and. My consistency with like routes, even when I was tired, that 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 was a positive. All right, thank you. Yep, no problem. Hi, I'm here with Thomas Pegler and Will Roller, and I'm gonna ask them a couple questions about today's game. So, how do you guys stay so positive? You know what? Um, I get a lot of motivation from my dad. He says, no matter what, if you try your hardest on the field, you cannot go off the field um, feeling like negative. And that's exactly what I did today. I know we lost. I know it was not a great game at all, but I'm still happy with how I performed, and I'm still proud of my teammates. And how about you, Will? The coaches make me stay positive. They're always, you know, have our backs and everything. So. And when you guys are down, how do you keep your players po uh, motivated? Forget about the last play. Keep going on. Yeah, just and play after play. Play after play, man. Yeah. Forget about and, it. And for you, Will, how does it feel for your last home opener? And I'm going to miss it. But, yeah. Was there any specific plays that you guys really liked about yourselves? Uh, you know what? I think I did really good on uh, that first kick return. I'm not used to catching the ball. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm a running back. I, I don't catch. I just think I can play hard. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, thank you guys. As you all know, it's football season. But it's also marching band season. High schools have marching bands, so do the colleges. That's how has marching band, and they performed their preview show for a live audience at the beginning of this month. 
Now it's a little bit different than what it is now because it was a while ago, but still, it's still a great performance, and you may know some of the songs. So, we're here in this beautiful stadium. Let's take you out to Ben Salem Marching Band. This year's show features selections from Monsters University, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Thriller, and Happy. The field direction is under Steph Schrader, the drum major, and the band is led by Michael Zimmerman and Susan Hinson. The show opens up with Gospel, a selection from Monsters University. Trumpet player Jesse Lash leads a line of other trumpet players and trombone players. In the line is John Antony, Jordan Rowan, and John Falciani. The band's last piece was a selection from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Let's have a listen. forward to uh, this marching band season we have a great show we've been working real long and hard on it all summer we just put the uh, the dance in and it's, it's coming together we just finished it tonight and I cannot wait to get it out there and on the field we're gonna fight win or lose we'll be all right regardless of the scoreboard Ben Salem hosted the chamois Redskins and unfortunately took the loss regardless of the scoreboard Ben Salem played great and fought hard. Come out and support the Owls at the rest of the season. You're gonna battle. In the beginning of the game, Ben Salem played great, and seniors like Jason Tate and Chris Jurgensen excelled. Here's a great save by junior Greg Citrino. Ricky Mose takes a six. <laughs> Junior Omar Lubiano makes a great pass, but unfortunately they could not score. Here's some of our great defenders like Rahi Patel and Melvin Forkpot hold down the fort on defense and prevent any points coming forth from the Chamonix. Chris Jerkinson putting some awesome moves on some of the Nishamni players. That footwork though. Junior Greg Citrino clears the ball and sends it downfield. You're gonna battle, you're gonna fight, win or lose, you're gonna be alright. Regardless of the score. Senior Jason Tay takes the shot but unfortunately does not make it. Great backfield pass by Jason Tate. Chris Jurgensen with the amazing defending. Thank you for the suggestion. It was a good one. 
without a question. Build a club and subscribe. What's the original? I just told you again. It was a Despite an unfortunate loss, the Owls still played great. Come out and support the Owls the rest of the season. Regardless of the scoreboard. That's all we have for the highlights. It was a great effort by Ben Salem. Good job, boys. You like a love song in my mind. Play it all little baby one more time. Touch me like music. Got you a replay every night and day. Steph Brooks is coming around the bend during the first mile of the race. Yeah, the beat starts first. Have me with your rhythm like a body's rehearsed. Have me dancing all night. Here we see seniors Francesca and Allie following close behind. Mary Green is trying hard to catch up to Council Rock sales in the first mile. The girls are using the downhill to open their stride and catch the opponents. Heading to the finish line, Steph completes her last 100 meters going strong. This is Francesca coming in at a great pace. Allie is extremely happy to be finishing the race as she nears the finish. Freshman Lisa is coming in at an impressive time for her first year of cross country. Katarina works hard to say if Nishamini eventually passes her. Here sisters Peace and Joy are coming around the turn in their final meters of the race. To finish off the race, Amanda and Mary give it their all to complete the 5K. Senior Gabby Nightlinger starts the first serve. Senior Alex Afanasio returns the ball to Pensbury. Breaking together with her partner, they take the point. Even though Gabby hit a great shot to her opponent, she came out short and lost the point. Gabby gets ready to return a lob, hitting the ball with a strong backhand. The girls continue to have a successful volley getting the point. It was a very close match, but Pensbury won with the final score of 6-4. Junior Stacy Tran begins her serve. Junior Leilani and Carnation continue to turn the ball, but gets it out. The girls switch, and Leilani begins to serve. When Pensbury hits the ball, Stacy has a net shot and gets the winning point. Senior Rebecca Reese starts the match. Rebecca returns with a great lob that wins the set. Junior Maddie Walters serves, and when Penn's Bay returns it, she backhands the ball, but they lose the game.
Pegler for BSPN. On September 23rd, the Ben Salem Boys Owls golf team took on Truman and Council Rock South at the Ben Salem Country Club. Now, they didn't win, but they had a really good showing and really displayed their talents. Let's take you out to some highlights now. VHS golf team is playing their game in a try match against Council Rock South and Truman High School today. Matt Gladue with the approach shot using his approach wedge. Noel Wild using his 7 iron to get the ball on the green. How was the game today? I did the best I ever did today. What are you going to do after high school? Uh, go to college. Are you going to play golf there? Definitely not college, but my free time. Sophomore Ryan Gladue is puttying away. We have room in Senek putting everything he's got into this shot. Mac Ladu punting into the green. Here's Mac Ladu with the perfect putt. Matt will do driving down the fairway. Kiss a Pig is about a diverse group of individuals coming together to support a worthy cause. Financial literacy for today's youth. Teachers from the following schools participated this year and will receive grants for personal finance resources. Ben Salem High School, David Miller. I can only tell you that True Mark has been really there for us in many, many ways and they have been really a wonderful corporate sponsor for our school district. They have been steadfast and they have been really wonderful in bringing financial literacy to our school district and to the high school. David Miller is a teacher here at Ben Salem High School in the Business and Technology Department. He teaches computer applications along with entrepreneurship and global entrepreneurship. He supports Trumark and their attempt to bring financial literacy to Ben Salem School District. A major sponsor for the Trumark Kiss a Pig event is 98.1 WOGL. Part of the Kiss a Pig event for Trumark Financial Credit Union uh, from 98.1 WOGL. Yes, the Breakfast Club. I, uh, we have a weekday show, 5.30 to 9. Hi, I'm Demi here with OTN and Valerie. Hi, how are you, Demi? Good, how are you? Fine, thank you. So, we just wanted to ask you a few questions about how you got into broadcasting and like your story, kind of. Uh, well, my story's kind of long, and so we've been here a long time, but I've been in Philadelphia Radio for over 25 years now. Yes, a long time. Uh, and and I'm pretty lucky because I'm a local girl from King of Prussia and I never really had to leave town to work like it was in a small town in you know, yeah. some smaller state. I worked in Allentown um, in the beginning of my broadcast career for nine months and then got a job at nice at, well it was sunny 1045 then and that was like in the mid 80s and you know I just kind of did uh, from then I, you know, that was a DJ job but through the years I've done traffic and news and co-hosting and public affairs and interviews and just pretty much production. I've, d I've done it all. Another special thanks to Mrs. Carroll for bringing financial literacy to Ben Salem High School. She teaches accounting and money management. Hi, I'm Phil Thoughts and I'm here with OTN and 
this is Randy, the person who's in charge of this wonderful event today. So Randy, can you tell me how you think today turned out? Oh, I think it was awesome. I mean, everybody was so committed with their fundraising efforts. I think everyone had a fun time. But this was a little under the weather, wasn't in the kissing mood. It all turned out great. In the future, do you think this is going to take off and become a more popular thing? Absolutely. I mean, we started it four years ago and we raised $17,000. Uh, this year we raised over $40,000. So I think each year it's expanded and it's grown. More and more students are getting involved. So um, how did you become in charge of this mission? I actually am in charge of public relations, community relations at Tremark Financial, and I manage the financial literacy program. So we wanted to do something more for the schools. Currently, we go out to the schools and we do presentations. And actually, one of the teachers at Ben Salem gave me the idea of kissing a pig. And uh, I thought, how can I take that concept and make it into something bigger to raise money for a lot of different schools? Okay, and final question, have you ever kissed a pig? Oh, uh, just from afar. <laughs> okay, thank you. Another special thanks to our district superintendent, Dr. Ball, who came out and supported Ben Salem High School at this worthwhile event.